everyone, this is Dave Pike, the Motor City Mechanic. Today's video is going to be on a Dodge Durango. We're going to cover the year models 2011 all the way up to 2015. Now what it's going to be about is the rear tail lamps. Now these vehicles have a total of four lamps on the rear. We've got two that are mounted on the body which are considered outboard lamp assemblies and then we got two on the rear hatch open up. Those are considered inboard assemblies. I'm going to show you how to remove one of the inboard assemblies how to gain access to the back side of it and what you need to take off and what you need to do to be careful that you don't do any damage. Check it out. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing the bulb right here. This inner bulb assembly, the uh, outer bulb inside of there has actually gone out so when you're looking at a Durango and you're trying to pull up information they're going to say the outer light and the inner light well this is the inner this is the outer outer is pretty cut and dry to get off the inner you do got to take a few more things uh, we've got two 10 millimeter bolts on the back side and we also got to pull the plastic panel off the back of the lift gate here so we can gain access so that's what we're going to do now we're going to go ahead and open up the rear and start taking that panel off now once we get the lift gate up we look here at the edge right here about where the shock is. We've got two 10 millimeters that sit up here. We're gonna go ahead and back them all the way out and set them to a side. So when you get ready to take this pull handle off, you need to get your trim stick, you need to get in about this location, here, here, and here. That's pretty much where the plastic hangers are on the back side that keep us latched in. Otherwise, if you go anywhere else, you get a chance of breaking off the lip of this, this pull handle. What I like to use, I got a plastic trim stick right here, it's got a hook, and the hook works very, very well. Now when you go to take it off, be careful because what can happen is as you pull one off, the other one reseats. In this case, we got them both off. So there you go. Now as you see on the back side, here's those plastic fingers that we mentioned in their location. That's why I want you to go here, 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 and here. And the hook's the best style of tool to be using for this. So we go ahead and take the other one off, and we'll work on getting this panel off. Now we're getting ready to take the pin off. Like I said, we got the pull handles out of the way. It's just held in with a bunch of plastic Christmas tree style fasteners, but keep in mind they're held in very well. So you're going to be pulling down, you're going to think you almost break something there in that tight. Now you can start around here where we took the pull handles out, or you can work around the edge wherever you want. Just get your plastic trim stick, get it up in here, put your fingers up in there, and start working your way around. around to the driver's side. Like I said, these things hold on very well. They're not going nowhere, for sure. You just have to work your way around. Pull. And there you go. Now you're going to have a couple lights that are up in here that you need to disconnect the connectors for. Really recommend suspending it by that because it could cause the wires to come out of place. There we go, we got our panel out. And looking at that panel now that we got it on the ground, you'll see the fasteners here. You got some that are yellow and some that are kind of a uh, greenish blue. Now you want to look around the perimeter and make sure they're all there. We've got two of them that are missing that are still attached to the lid itself the rear hatch so we'll go ahead and get them off and make sure we slide them in because like I said they, they either stay on the vehicle or they stay on the panel they come off one way or another and they stay tight so that's the back side of the panel like I said we'll put the other two on that stayed up there and we'll work on getting the light off and right now we got the panel all the way and this is the back side of that lamp now if you were doing the inboard bulb the one closest to the license plate you could actually get to it right here we're just taking that trim panel off but that's not the bulb we're changing the bulb that we're changing is further in which means we're going to have to take the lamp assembly off which you've already got the two 10 millimeters on the outside off we've got two 10, min 10 millimeters right here we need to back out and then we can work on getting the whole assembly out now if you ever look at the back side what you'll probably notice is that this trim piece right here it says dodge it actually has a release button on it kind of overlaps the tail lamp as they go in at an angle. What I recommend doing is backing off on the four 10 millimeter nuts that hold this in place to help you get the assembly off 
on the driver's side, which is the one we're doing, but either way, passenger driver's side is going to be the same thing. So you back off on it, that way you get some movement to help you get access to it. Um, if you really need to, you can actually take all the bolts off, it's up to you. Like I said, I just back them out enough to, so I got a little room to get back on. Now the bolts that hold that trim piece on, or the nuts, excuse me, there's a 10 millimeter here. There's one up here in a recessed hole here, here, and here as well. So that's your four that you can back out as much as you need, or if you need to take them all the way off, that's fine. To get access so you can get that bulb assembly out without causing any damage to it. At this point we can go ahead and grab the tail lamp assembly and start working it out. We do have a connector on the back side we need to get to. Now the connector all you gotta do is squeeze in on the lock, slide it off, now we got the whole assembly out of the way. Now the bulbs themselves, they just rotate, pull out, and all you gotta do is grab them, grab one hand, I can actually put it back in with one hand. Put it back in, rotate it, lock it in place. Like I said, this is the one that we have to take the assembly out to get to. This one right here, you can get access to it with that back trim panel out of the way. So now we can go ahead and reinstall everything. So what I want to do now is go ahead and plug the connector in. What I'm going to do is I lift out on that trim piece right here, give me a little bit of room, and I line up the metal studs that need to go through the lift gate. There we go. Now what I do is open the lift gate and go ahead and tighten down the two tins on the outside edge and the two that were behind the panel. Now it's time to go back with that trim piece for the lift panel. Plug in your connectors for your lights. And as you go up, you're gonna to try to line everything up. Now there's some plastic pins that stick up out of the back piece to help line it up. But you know about the basic location where things are gonna be. And as you go up, the plastic pins will start seating themselves. Once they do, you're just gonna give them a couple of good taps with your palm and work your way around. Go around until you don't hear any more snaps. And you know you got your trim piece on, make sure all the corners are flush. Now we gotta do is put the grab handle pockets back in. Putting those back in, all you're gonna do is slide them up in there. A little gentle tap. And there we go, that one's fully in place. And we'll go ahead to the other side and then we'll turn the lights on, make sure everything works. So there you go. Now you saw what you need to do to remove the inboard lamp assembly from the rear hatch on that Durango. Like I said, I pointed out that rear trim piece around the back that has the touch pad to open it. Backing off on those 10 millimeter nuts or taking them off completely really help in getting that lamp assembly off because there's kind of an overlap between the trim and the lamp. Follow those steps, you shouldn't have no problem. And also, like I said, pay attention to how you take the handles off the rear inner hatch cover. They will break if you don't. I actually broke one during this video, which I didn't show you, so I had to get a replacement. So definitely follow the steps that I did show, that way you don't do it. So at this point, I ask for any kind of thumbs up on YouTube. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, and you can follow me on Twitter, and also check me out on Instagram. If you got any kind of comments or suggestions, please feel free to email me at david at motorcitymechanic.com, and I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. In the meantime, keep watching my videos.